guess I started without you. Please like, subscribe, and share. This uh, video is dedicated to Diddle. D-I-T-L-E. Thank you. having a good Tuesday out there. Hope everybody's doing well. And again, thank you for your uh, your vested interest. I humbly appreciate it. Oh, excuse me. <coughs>
You like the video, Diddle? It's for you. And dedication.
as you can see, I have no energy. I'm just eating. No antics. Nothing fun. I feel, I feel pretty rough. But this is fun. I mean, whether I'm sitting and lying down, getting a little bit of food in, feeling a little better, making a vid, getting some more watch time, that's more important right now. So, thank you all for, uh, I'm sure you guys like this better, and like I said, I'm going to tone down the craziness. Sometimes when I'm in the car, though, and I'm out, I may every now and then throw a horn or do something a little obnoxious, but for the most part, I'm going to try to keep it, because I realize the ASMR is more of a sensory type of overload stimulus of relaxation, um, so I can definitely see why I added a bunch of bangs and a hoot and hollering all of a sudden out of being like this could disrupt the person's uh, enjoyment out of the video. So I apologize to any viewers, subscribers, non-subscribers that I've bothered by that. Like I said, I'm a big kid at heart. I always like to have a good time. I mean, I had nieces and they would come over and I mean, yeah, I had to be told by the adults, well, by the parents that, you know, got to relax a little bit because I'd be right on their level throwing dolls, you know, making the dolls fight, you know, running around, playing tennis, <laughs> excuse me, giving them too much candy. I've always been a fun type. I've always liked to be a kid at heart. I'm a kid at heart. I like to be so when I'm around kids and I play around and shoot ball or, you know, throw, you know, I can, I can get a little, like, I'm a kid again, you know, like I act like a kid. But, you know, so sometimes out here you can see I do a little of that. But you know, so I can see I'm serious. Like if I give an instructional video with weights, you don't see me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's serious. This is play. You know, but if it's serious, it's serious, you know. So we'll try and work on that. Definitely try and work on that. And I thank you for the criticism of that. I am one that can take criticism, especially constru constructive criticism. When I was younger, I couldn't, but now that I'm older, I can. And I'll take any criticism and any comments and any suggestions that I can. Now, and I don't have an ego, so I can. I can take it, you know, I just don't like sometimes, you know, obviously the picking on comments, but that's going to happen, and uh, that's just par, par for the taking, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, thank you all, and uh, please leave any comment, and, uh, you know, everybody has to get something off their chest, I guess, so, but... I don't really like uh, all the negative stuff, you know, I'm just trying to do what, you know, makes me feel alright, because most of the day I don't feel alright, so, and that's the truth, so, this is why I kind of, kind of go with that, you know. school, 
uh, being ridiculed, being mocked, being taken advantage of, uh, feeling like a punching bag, um, being made to feel inferior, uh, being made to feel uh, uh, second tier, third tier, fourth tier. I understand all that, and I'm with y'all out there, you know? So, know that um, I've gone through these issues as well. And I do so on a present basis. So, you know, I thank you all. And the comments are great. It makes me feel good. You know, gives me something to look forward to. So, uh, I greatly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, again, thank you so much. I'm almost out of this. I don't, I don't buy this cheese because this bag right here is $18.87. So it's $20 with tax. Now it lasts about a month, maybe. But I always go with the cheaper one, but this is my favorite one. It's the Ambriola uh, Shredded Pecorino Romano. And it, it, it is fabulous. And then you throw a little bit of this uh, dressing on there. You know, if you had some croutons, add that to it. And you got a ghetto, uh, ghetto cheese salad. You know what I'm saying? shortly.